the biggest benefits for students that might be hidden and they don't get to see right from the start is that they actually do get to see how an academic research is, what kind of materials an academic looks at. And I become more transparent in that, in sharing other articles with them that they're not required to read or um, introducing them to other films that they're not required to see. And I think that they start to realize that to create some kind of course like this, whether it's an arts-based course or a STEM-based course, that it requires quite a bit of research and dedication. And so there's less criticism of not being prepared or feeling like the professor is flaky or feeling like the professor is not arriving to class prepared or having anything for them because they can now see how much work actually goes into creating a course like this. I had an interesting situation where a non-traditional student had started my course and made it about four weeks in on the old platform and had to withdraw, whatever reason, and wasn't gonna come back until this next year. And it was kind of a really awesome experience to have because they came back, they finished, they were really successful, they kind of created this really wild, surreal, personal documentation piece that was crazy and wonderful. And I actually asked that student if they would mind coming in and giving me some feedback. They're junior at this point, so they've had a little bit more um, time with university and time and different comp classes to compare to. And she was very supportive. She was really excited at the film choices being totally different. She was really happy at the accessibility for the articles. She felt like she could read them anywhere. But she did say she thought it was critical that the films were diverse that they had different voices. So this year so far, I've had two rounds of student evaluations back. Um, and students never like taking quizzes, so that is always a complaint, is taking the quizzes. Um, however, they are excited about the films. Many, most of the feedback I get, sometimes even in a personal email from the student says, these are some of my new favorite films. I never really understood how that worked or why it worked, but I'm really interested in this. And that's amazing, and it feels really good to know that they are responding to that. I've also had a few students who were so angered by some of the articles I showed them. One of them um, is challenging the film Lady Bird as being kind of a direct replica of another film that came out in 2002 called Real Women Have Curbs, which is actually a stage play written by a Latinx um, writer and director and <laughs> so there's an article that talks about how Lady Bird kind of lifted this story and appropriated it onto a white background and so some of the students got very very angry about this because they really loved Lady Bird and they did their own research and watched the other film and came to a conclusion either way. They might not have agreed with some of their conclusions but they actually took the time to do the research and to me, that's winning. 